Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you a very very easy way of auto completing an input text box. Auto completions are useful uh, on almost every kind of websites. For example, in search engines, in blogs, and everywhere, auto completions help the user to actually make the searches faster. And this is how auto completion is very helpful. There are lots of ways people do auto completion. For example, uh, they actually write their own uh, CSS and JavaScript code to actually. Uh, put and drop down uh, under a text box and do all those complex techniques but uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a very very easy way of doing it and in this tutorial I will be using this uh, awesome complete uh, library and this is an open source library created by Leo Borough so I'm going to show how to use this library basically the first thing we are going to do is we are going to embed this library in our web page uh, CSS and JS files so let's embed them one by one Copy this URL to our raw zip and use this production URL basically. And, uh, and also integrate this script file. Here I am using the minified uh, file, but you can uh, use the non minified if you want to. And here I am using the production URL. You can also use the development and testing URL. If your site is not yet under production environment, it's under development. Okay. So I am using the ones which you will be using. So this much is uh, what required to actually embed this library. And the so next thing we have to do is we have to actually create an input box and then initialize the input box using this library. So I am going to create an input box. And I'm going to give the class, and this is very important. Uh, this is actually used for styling and other things. Okay, so make sure you have the same name of the library as your class name over here, and then that's it. You can also give the type if you want to, otherwise, it defaults to text. And now you have to what you have to do is you have to actually uh, initialize this library for this particular input box because there can be multiple search boxes in your website so for every uh, website, uh, search box you have to do it separately so let's go to the uh, official website of this library and you can see that this is the official website of this library I have provided the URL for both the GitHub repository and the uh, official website in the description box you can find the URLs over there and here you can see there are a lot of information out there and I'm going to skip to the ones we are going to use in this tutorial and the first thing is uh, uh, getting a reference to our input box and I'm going to give an ID of my input you can give any ID but uh, make sure the ID matches over here the same ID over here once we have referenced our input box I'm going to create a new instance of uh, awesome complete library and I'm going to explain you how it works So the first thing you have to do is you have to create a class of uh, awesome complete and uh, it provides a reference over here you can see that and now over here you have to pay for, provide the reference to the input field that you want the auto completion to be enabled on and here this is the my, my input id so I provided the input reference which I retrieved over here and then the list and list is an array of uh, an array of strings and these are the strings which are going to be filled with the auto completion drop down and you can make uh, any changes to the string of your wish and this can be of any length there is no precautions or anything now I'm going to save this library I'm going to save this web page basically okay now I'm going to refresh this then I'm going to type and you can see that the auto completion appears for example let me type uh, javascript and you can see it appears but there is an issue over here when i type j nothing happens when i type a it appears and it seems that uh, the auto completion starts only after the second character i can also customize this uh, functionality and uh, it provides an uh, argument for that also over here and that is uh, 
uh, minimum characters and the minimum characters should be set to 1 by default it is set to 3 so I can actually add a new uh, JSON object property over here and I'm going to set it to 1 I'm going to save it and as I type J you can see that it works now <coughs> so this is a very very awesome library basically and uh, one last thing I will uh, show you before I wrap up and that is how to actually change this list dynamically because here we are providing a constant list of strings sometimes it's necessary to actually retrieve the string using Ajax and then uh, change the stuff uh, basically if you are trying to build a search engine then it depends on what user is typing and you are going to load stuff accordingly so let me show you how to actually change it dynamically so I'm going to use this set timeout to actually get an uh, emulated kind of environment and after three, uh, 3 seconds I am going to change this list okay. so we can change this list anytime we wish to and there are lots of options available over here of how to actually change the list and let's see how to do that here we have a function evaluate and once you change the list you have to call this evaluate function make sure you are doing that and one thing I will provide, let you know that uh, you instead of providing the list over here you can also provide the list over here for example you can provide like uh, data list and then you can do like uh, java javascript node.js and etc and etc so instead of providing it here you can actually provide it over here and I think this is a very nice way of providing it and let's see if it works or not by providing it that way too and you can see it's working so how to change this list dynamically that's what we are talking about so let's see how to do that I'm going to call input and then I'm going to do set attribute so I'm going to basically change this list over here itself and I'm going to do data list and the new values I'm going to put is uh, Python C++ okay. so these are the new values for the list and then uh, once this is done I'm going to use this uh, reference to this input field of uh, some library and uh, I'm going to call this evaluate function again so that the new list is evaluated okay, now I'm going to save it so make sure you call this one once you change this list and it is very very important to do that and now I'm going to go and refresh it over here and as you can see that uh, I've given the timer of 3 seconds so after 3 seconds I should be checking it let's try it the other way and you can see it's working now so there must be a bug in the library that's why this uh, this stuff is not working over here and uh, maybe in the next release they will do that but uh, meanwhile uh, rely on this uh, in this stuff for actually changing the auto completion value anytime and uh, you can also any uh, the user can also uh, for example select a value while the auto completion is happening so that this value is changed with the input value 
and there are a lot of other stuff over here you can just look at it so thanks for watching this video hope you liked it and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share it